<laughs> Fuck us. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello, hello. I mean, welcome back. I did the thing. There is the thing that we did, so let's do it. The box opens! Oh, I just didn't read that. There's there's love letters. There's love letters inside, and we were immediately kicked back out again. <sighs> They're so anticlimactic, honestly. Oh no, the box is gone! It's a bundle of love letters from Benjamin Franklin to his wife, Deborah, whose last name we will just not know. Pepper already has the love letters. But it gave me a point! For... C for clicking? Alright. But where's this? I guess we don't need. Oh, it's got, a, it's got a little heart on it. A little heart. Aww. It should be empty now. Unless I put the box back? I guess I don't need to do that. Eggs. Eggs. Hey! Fancy eggs aside, anyway. Alright. Let's go. I think there was something else I needed to do in town. Right? Was there something else I needed to do in town? Somebody wants this back scratcher. Let's, let's find out who wants this back scratcher. Sorry, Pepper. I'm making you walk all over the dang place. You'll deal, though. You will survive. You're sprightly. Or something. No. <laughs> Look forward to captioning that noise later. <sighs> okay. Has everyone calmed down? Are you still alming? I guess he looks happier now. Oh, I guess so. Alright, fine. Who wants a back scratcher? I feel like it was somebody over here. Wow, you're... Hi, little boy. You're persistent, aren't you? Yes, ma'am! Every good reporter is persistent. Oh, well, you're a reporter? I don't suppose... Well, don't go reporting my income to anybody. I suppose I shouldn't care anymore. You're right, you shouldn't. Honest, Mrs. Bencher, I don't give a rat's ear about your money. I just want to save my dog. I suppose you want to know if I've heard anything about him, right? Yes, ma'am! That's how a reporter uncovers the truth, by firing pointed questions at people until they crack. Hmm. I thought you said you were non-violent. Okay, well, what do you want to talk about? My dog, obviously. Also, why do I get another point for talking to you? As a matter of fact, I have! That creepy Percy came here just a little while ago carrying... Oh, the general's favorite cherry wood wig stand. He wanted to know if it could be repaired, but it was hopeless. That dog of yours chewed right through it like it would have laid over him. <laughs> nice. All right, Lockjaw, fight him to the end. Oh, okay, but this back scratcher, though. Boy, oh boy, can I keep it? Well, no. Darn. <laughs> Guess that's not for you. Uh, then we are leaving. I could have sworn it was for her, but... Ain't no one been itchy. Who do we know been itchy? Uh-huh. Uh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Could it have been the 30 pounds of food you've eaten in the past half hour? No, of course not! It's this blasted diet! It's going to kill me! Let me put it this way, dude. If you're gonna eat anymore, you're gonna pop. Stick to that diet, buddy. Oh dear, I hope not. I just hate cleaning up a mess. Ugh, I think I'm going to be sick. Aww. Aww! Yeah, I'll talk to you for a little bit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. I just have to save my dog, generally. How can I possibly get him back from the pugs? Well, that's easy, boy. Just storm the mansion. Take a cannon with you. Yeah! There's nothing quite as groovy as watching a cannonball take out a wall. Can confirm. Uh, I don't have a cannon, General, and I don't really want to hurt anyone. I just want my dog back. Listen up, lad. 
Woof, woof. I don't know what sound that is, but I just said it, so whatever. <laughs> you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Oh, that makes me hungry. My poor stomach. This is most uncool. This back scratcher, will that calm you? No thanks, boy. If I can't eat it, it ain't worth it. Alright. Hmm. Hmm. See ya! I kept you company for a little while. Go to the place. Go down to the place. It's definitely not the Hardy Brothers. I don't think I want to get in the mansion yet. I gotta do stuff with Ben first. Oh. Okay, that was fun. That was very fun. Um. I guess let's look. What a dorky looking guy. Oh, if I only had a brain. Let's talk to them. Excuse me, sirs, but... Excuse you, nothing, laddie. Hold your ground. No one here is allowed. <laughs> the order of the king. Right, no one. Who exactly is in that shed, sir? What are you trying to hide? That's for us to know and you to wonder about. Nah. -uh. Oh, act your age, Mont... Mont Morrissey. Mont Morrissey. I don't want to quick up with a foot in the ball. Oh, it's deep restarted the music for some reason. That's fun. How did we get out of here? I think it was like here. No? Smells like dead fish. Where was the place? Look, she's resourceful. She'd be, at, be, be able to get out of there. How did... Uh... This is that false memory I was thinking of. I know! We meet Deborah and give her her clothes over here. How do we trigger that event? I kinda like that little music though. That was fun. What if I just go past you? It's just right past you. Go. Can I just walk by? <gasps> Doppelgangers! <laughs> That's a no. Go. I guess let's go talk to Ben then. Heck. Whoa. That double music was unacceptable. Get you gone. Alright, I must need the back scratcher for something in the mansion. So let's just talk to Ben, I guess. What are those paddles are for? The holes in my memory are showing. The further we get, the less I remember. But that's fun. We can solve these puzzles on our own, right? Like, just, just chop off that hunk of hedge. I'm pretty sure... What? Well, I do not want to give them to your children, that's bad. I don't think you can deal with this either. Dad, that general pug is a real stinker. You wouldn't believe what he's gotten to up to. I caught at this letter and... 
Uh, there'll be time for the general later. I intend to do something about him, but right now, Deborah's safety is my only concern. Okay, totally fair, but like... <sighs> How am I supposed to get past the fucking guy? Well, I know I have to use the stupid lever here, so why don't we just get that out of the inventory now? Am I allowed? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go over here because that music is better for thinking. Yeah, this this music is very thinking music. It's very intense. Okay. So we gotta get past those guards. Talk to her in some way. I seriously want that flower too. Can I just have that? But it's so pretty! That doesn't look like a thing. <laughs> it's clearly not a cabbage, but sure. Yeah, that's fair also. It's a big wrought iron thing. No? Okay. Alright. No, I have everything I'm gonna have. So what do we have in our inventory? I guess the love letters? Could shock them? I think we save that for later. I could try to give them the doctrine thing. Come on. I feel like we're missing something with Sally. I'm gonna try like one more thing and then we're probably gonna pause so that I can just like click around for eight years until I find the solution because I don't wanna. I don't wanna be like floundering forever here. That's fine when I'm fighting stuff, but when it's just making Pepper walk around between screens, that feels mean. To Pepper. Adventurers can handle it. And she's definitely fit, but like, this is my folly. Alright. Let's... Back scratch. Stick it in my ear. Uh, paddles? Okay. Love letters? Yeah, stick them in your ear, obviously. Clothes? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that, but it's not gonna let me. Magnet? Uh, I've got to get around them somehow. And I, I really feel like the answer is back here. This is where I'm supposed to meet Deborah. But what am I supposed to do here? This music is really cute. Back scratcher for digging? That would be logical. Hmm. Definitely not leave her for digging. Alright, I guess this is a short one. Sorry. I'm preparing for another test soon anyway, so that's fine. Oh, I need to turn around so you can see our dead eyes. Oh gosh, that's worse. There we go. That's a little better. Stare right into your soul. Okay, so I'm gonna futz around and poke everything until I find an answer. And then I will be back. And I hope y'all are doing great. And I'll see you next time. Bye!